good, sir. Oh, good. Just need to refresh this thing, and the single thing. You can't see my shirt. Aw. Aw. Is this going to be a constant thing for you? What? The t-shirt. The <laughs> wearing a different t-shirt? Uh, I'm, I'm glad you're wearing a different t-shirt every time. Oh, you mean this shirt? No, no, any shirt. That, that I mean, the last one was um, the tree the folk room. one. The, oh. The, yeah. I know what it Coal says, but I don't the, know what it The Coalition is. for the Liberation of Itinerant Tree Dwellers, yeah. Yes. I'm just finding these old shirts that I used to wear, and this one was, this is a very old one. I wore this one when I was in the Navy. Um, it's from a webcomic, uh, Joyce, uh, Joyce and Walkie. Uh, it's really funny. And so I bought the shirt, a size too small, but I was able to wear it. So That looks cute. I like it. You like you like what it says. I, I love what it says. Yeah. <laughs> are we recording? We are recording. Are we live? We are live. <laughs> Holy crap! We are live. I, <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome to Mana Drained, episode four. I'm Max Born again. I have with me, as always, Magic Vice. Woo, Magic Vice. Woo, Magic Vice. So. <laughs> we got a pretty cool show for for you guys planned. We have some pre-release uh, talk shenanigans yeah. that went that we want to talk about. We've <laughs> got some uh, events that are coming up that we're going to talk about. But I think our main discussion is probably going to be about what's rotating out of standard and some new decks that are going to be going into standard and all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah. Some interesting speculation, anyways. Yes, and I think I lost the web page. Of course you did. I did. So, how, how about you start us off with? Uh, so we had this. a yeah we <laughs> had a big we had a big weekend. We were I was sick, so uh, it was really difficult to organize. A, and Joe had, was had other obligations, so it was, it was difficult for us to work in uh, a time to play. And we finally got to play a two headed giant. So that meant we both uh, pulled our packs and were able to make decks out of them. Um, and we, we, we played uh, Two Headed Giant. Um, I had a rally, uh, no, not rally deck, what the hell? Um, An ally deck. Ally deck. Why am I saying rally? Because rally is the. the uh, oh, shut up. The, um, <laughs> rally is the yeah, mechanic so I, for allies. I had an ally deck. It was, I did uh, green, white, uh, green, white, uh, black. Um, and I actually never got mana screwed once. Um, but I had some high cast cost stuff, so it didn't matter how good of mana I was drawing. We were, weren't doing too good with it. There was uh, only one game I got mana screwed. That last the game. Last the last game. The game that we need you to do not to be. Well, how was uh, I supposed to know? I, it's all right. <laughs> um, but we, we, we had fun. The first game, we kind of got screwed, and I forget how we lost. It was Because we were doing really well. We got them down to, like, 10 or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it was like 10 to 38 or something And like then that. all of a sudden... Um, their allies started picking Their allies up. were way better than ours. Well, faster. Like, yeah. they, they just they, they put a whole bunch of crap down. Well, they had two of those trample ones. I think that was the biggest the biggest hurter because all of our guys were pretty small. Yeah. And we didn't... In that first game, we, we were literally sleeving our land up when they said um, start the round. Yeah. So, like, we kind of... And you were playing with a, we were both playing with a forty five plus card deck. Yeah. So that really, I think game two we really like we slimmed our oh, deck down. Oh, we slimmed down. down a lot. We you know threw. I was at forty one. What were you at? 42? I was at forty two. Forty two. And I took out a bunch of one drops and two drops and put in some heavier hitters because I mean, yeah. one and two drops are great, but when you then you don't have any finisher. Like we both had the same finisher. What was um. The one creature that lets uh, oh, stops the, your opponents from attacking if they have well, even. Well, stop. Yeah, even even um, casting cost uh, uh, things. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. I never once got them out. Yeah, never, never once even had them. The uh, even an uh, inkling of enough mana to get them out. Um, the second game though, we we did we we won pretty handedly. Yeah. Um, Tell you what, those tap and untap guys and two headed giant is totally broken. Yeah. Not so much in single one on one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make that. Do you work. have him to th throw up on there? So uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I don't, but I can get him pulled up here yeah. if you wanna. So Joe 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 part of his deck was uh, this nasty Eldrazi guy. Um, he's red and two, um, and when he's in play, uh, he's just a three one. 
but he has the ability to tap to deal damage. So he's a prodigal. Uh, was it prodigal soldier or uh, sorcerer? Prodigal sorcerer. Yeah. Um, with the caveat that whenever you play a, a, a devoid or a colorless spell, devoid counted, um, he untaps. So you could do it multiple times, and it was to each opponent. So in two head giant, you have two opponents. So it's two damage to them every time you tapped it. Uh, so that, that kind of wow, really? I don't know what's happening. It looks like you're crashing. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he was able to do this multiple times and uh, did, did a lot of damage with it. Um, and at the same time, I had a vampire guy who, anytime uh, I threw out an ally, um, it would deal one damage and we'd gain a life. Uh, but it was one damage to each opponent. So we were, we were kind of, we were handily dealing lots of damage during that game. Who was the guy that's here? Red. Maybe it was colorless. He's going to be at the bottom. Is he calling? Well, yeah. I guess he does. He's the boy. Is it? Because oh, there we go. Um, where is he? There he is. There he is. Needle is. drone. Is it needle? Yeah. So we're gonna put this up here so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, it was it was <laughs> it was really disgusting. Joe did a lot of damage real quick with him. Um, never once attacked with him. Just kept tapping him. No, him. well, every time he w by the time he comes down, they've got blockers, yeah. and since his defense is only um, one, it makes him a tough block. Although the one game we had, um, what you call it? Um, what was the one card? The uh, retreat. Yeah, we had the retreat, and those the red one is really fun. Um, just being able to uh, pick either you, when you when you hit landfall, you can either give a creature plus two plus O oh, or end first strike or end first strike or just plus two it's plus two plus O oh. plus two plus O oh, or target creature can't block. So really trying to find out the balance was in just between playing those cards was a lot of fun. I mean the choices were not always so clear cut and dry. There he is. Um, but it's still, yeah. I mean, the fact that he untaps and then you can retap him, the whole, my whole deck was colorless. I think I only had two three or four, two or three awakened cards that were colored or didn't have to void. So like it was, and they were all cheap too, which was nice. So I really want to try and find a way to work this guy into a constructed deck. Although I don't, his toughness, his toughness is going to be the, the struggle, but yeah. Gave me some good ideas for a deck for Hazel, though, because uh, I think Hazel would like to to have an Eldrazi deck. So, but, yeah, that they should play good at it too. Hazel's really kind of fun. Hi, Hazel. I'm hoping that the uh, the next set has some really good Devoid. Obviously, they'll have some Devoid cards, but I mean, like the set after that won't have Devoid. But I I still think it's gonna have um, Emrakul. I really do. Yeah. I think it's got to have Emrakul just because of the flavor text, just the way the store is going. Um, I, it can't just be Jason Company coming in and makes a big deal. I mean, <laughs> they, they, there's got to be a, like a climactic battle, mm -hmm. and what we've seen so far is kind of like just holding them at bay. So I don't know. So I don't know. I enjoyed it. I I think if I had to do it again, like my deck was red, red, blue, green. I think I would have dropped. Um, no, red, blue, black. I think I would have dropped black. Yeah, just I just because uh... it's just. That's what happened on game uh, game three. I got mana screwed because I didn't, I had a handful of red cards and no red mana. I think I should have dropped to green. Honestly, green really didn't help me too much. Just um, red white, or, yeah, um, black white, black white, yeah. So, so it was fun. I mean, we didn't pull anything. No, you pulled the land, the 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 creature land, the oh the white the white um, yeah the life gain which died so quickly. Yeah, I I, I the one game we got it out, it died within. Before I could even attack with it, it just died so quickly. It was a two, uh, two, three, two, three, with and I changed land. it to a. Uh, in order to try and save, I changed it to a. Um, oh, that's right. That's the thing that five. that's the thing that the guy tried to. Um, Gideon's type, Gideon's yeah. type uh, revenge or whatever, and then you gave it two three counters, times. and he did it again. You know what was funny? Isn't that isn't that the same thing that happened to the last? Last event, only it was with uh, Celestial Flare. Didn't yes, cast, it was. Didn't he it cast was. two Celestial Same Flare in one and that's, go round? That's what, that's what cost us the, the game. Um, <laughs> well, it not really cost us the game, but it's just kind of funny that the team that like, oh, it ran away. Game, yeah. Last yeah, time, that's the thing that, that, ran, that ran us down. 
this time though it was it was a little bit annoying because the person the the people we we faced and, and I kid you not it was the judge the judge decided that she wanted to play which is a little bit weird <laughs> to Especially have at such a big event yeah it's such a big event and the fact that they, they, they sell out and everything like that uh, but a judge participates so she's not so much unbiased anymore and her, her her way of saying that you know in case I'm busy you can still get help because oh there's another judge here but that's not what capacity he was in at that at that time. Well, he was I, playing too. Yeah, and well, and that's fine. That's fine when that's what you're you're doing. Like if you're playing, you're playing. You're not a judge. Right. But she was the judge. She was right. the head judge, and then she played. So that was weird. Um, right. The second part that was weird about it was when we when we faced her and this other guy. Um, number one, he was very inexperienced, it seemed. Um, but the cards that they had were amazing. They had um, Ulamog, they had a foil Kiora, Ulamog, a foil Ulamog uh, Kiora, um, plenty of tap mana creatures. The, yeah, they the had 4-4 the, the, to tap for two. They had tons of uh, ways to, to get more mana, like, like multiple ways to get more mana. So there's lots of mana Excel. Um, it, it was a really good pull, a really, really good pull. And I'm not saying that that can't happen. Right. I'm just saying that was a really good pull. Um, so I just, it's just really weird, really weird. Um, oh yeah, they obliterated us. They, they milled the crap out of Joe. It was funny. Oh yeah, I, I had the mulligan down to six and then we start, and then I started the game with three red, three red cards. Like I said, no red mana and blue and black mana. And then she dropped Ulamog and immediately got rid of my blue mana. And then I was just screwed from there on out. And I mean, Ulamog, like... Love the card, but in in um uh what you call it in sealed, it's I mean honestly to tell you the truth, there there was a card that I should have played and I and it wasn't in my um it wasn't in my deck. I had thought about it just as kind of like a safety net card. Um it's an artifact, it's a hydra a hedron arrow head or something like that. And basically yeah, here we go. Pathway arrows. So, um, here I'll pull it up on the screen real quick here. Basically, the card I, I was looking at, I was like, you know, this the only reason this card is going to be good is so if someone drops a huge Eldrazi creature on us. And granted, there are several of them. And I was like, well, I, you know, I really don't need it. It's a, um, I believe it's a two drop. Oh, it's a one drop, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, one drop. Equipped two. Yep. Equip two. So equip creature has paid two colorless. Tap this. Uh, tap this creature deals one damage to target creature. If a colorless if a colorless creature is dealt damage this way, tap it. So obviously, during your you know tap untap draw during your draw step or main phase, or you'd whatever, have to do it during draw step to yeah. You know, because otherwise, the, the, it, 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 I, well even. Even during main phase or any really anything, just just before as, they declare yeah, attacking, because as soon as they declare attacking, right, then you have to mill. Right, so it's one of those things. Like, like and I didn't, and I didn't think about it. I sh I should have just played it. I really did. I should have just was like, you know what, just in case. And now that I think back on it, it's like all of our creatures were pretty small. So even if they would have dropped a four, the four four mana elves or mana mana Eldrazi, those those would have been fine to target with this thing as well, just to stop from taking four. Yeah. So I don't know. It's kind of you know. In hindsight, I probably should have played. <laughs> that would have been my pitfall because we could have been able. I mean, I had two mana, had a creature out, would have been able to. I hold it off. Hold it. Hold I, it off. I mean, she still would have exiled my land. I still had two me. land available. Oh my god, that's so annoying. So she took, and then when she attacked, what was really bad about it was, um, you had a handful of red cards, right. and then. Every la red land you had were actually in exiled. Yeah, yeah, were exiled. And she's like, "Oh, I didn't realize you were playing red." I'm like, "Yep, sure am." Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that game got away yeah. from us real quick. So anyway, that's what that. That's that. So that sucked. Yeah. So we want to talk about uh, some uh, something switch stuff switching out or what? What do we want to talk about? Oh, so much is so much is leaving. So you've got all the Theros lands, which I I, I kind of am sad to see go. All the Scry lands, Scry lands really helped us, you know, just kind of 
uh, work with combo decks and things like that. So they're, they're still going to see play. Later I did get on. to, before we go too far, I did get to do this new scry thing. And at that last game. Oh, yeah, you did. We all get down to six and can scry one. That was fun. You got a land on top. I did get a land on top, <laughs> but I not immediately mountain. slammed yeah. it down. And, and no poker face whatsoever. No, you're like, not very nope. good at poker. I'm sorry. I hate poker. I'll poke you. Poke him. Yeah. Um, I mean, we lose all that that stuff. We lose uh, Bestow, which really wasn't as big as I, I thought it was. I mean, Chromanta Flayer, that was about it. And Boon Slater. Slater. But Boon Slater was there and gone real quick yeah. anyways. Um, heroic. No more Heroic. Heroic is gone. There is going to be no more Heroic decks. I don't think there was no Heroic decks. Oh, yeah. But in tournaments, there's a lot of Heroic decks. Oh, the, the red deck wins had some Heroic. Some. some. But I'm, no, I'm talking like like uh, blue-white control where, yeah. I mean, they just keep me a massive creature that you can't block mm. it's you know so no more heroic that's going to be good to see gone um red green's going to take kind of a hit but with the fact that they're doing um a uh, land drop uh what's it called landfall landfall uh i think landfall is going to take uh uh take the place of a lot of the, the red green yeah, stuff yeah red green i don't think red green's going to miss much I, they're going to they're, they're going to miss man excel but I, th gone. I think i mean you're miss we're missing uh, Mana Confluence. Mana Confluence is That's really huge. kind of a rough drop. However, with the fact that we have uh, fetch lands with the new lands that uh, count for both, you're not really losing too much in a, in like a dual color deck or a three color deck. In a five color deck, yeah. it gets a little twitchy. I think um, I think you're gonna see um, Abzan slow down a little bit too. I hope with, without having Mana Confluence a little bit, at least a turn, a turn or two. I mean, you won't. I, how how often are we gonna see? Well, I guess with, with the the fetch lands, fetch. How how long you're gonna? It's gonna be it's gonna be rare to see a turn four seed right now. Black is screwed. Black is screwed. Thought sees. Thought sees going away. So there's no yeah. more first turn. I play swamp. Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. I mean, you can still have that with. Um, um, you still got duress. Uh, duress, but I mean, duress <laughs> is not thought sees. Thought sees can take yeah. any, takes anything. The, um, you, you also have it's not turn one, it'll turn two. The uh, turn two is fine. I know, but but the oh the other thing that screwed me over too is, is in this thing is the one card where uh, re one black one colorless. Look at target player's hand. You can remove a card uh, with three <laughs> mana for three. Yeah, we got that the turn too late. Yeah, so you can remove a, a exile a card, a card, not creature, a card from their hand. Th uh, casting cost three or greater. <laughs> So that's that's huge. That could have saved us. So what was that called? I don't know. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. You keep um, going. what else is going? Um, so the cool weapons like Whip of Erebus is going. The oh, gods I'm so are going. See, I'm sad to see that go. I, I never played with it, but like I played with I'm, it all the time. I'm really sad to see that go. Um, Fleece Man goes, doesn't it? Yeah, Fleece Man Lion Leaves. Um, Corsair Crufix. Yeah, Corsair. I don't have any Corsairs, so I never really. Never really played with them. I know you have them, but I love that card. Um, it was really that's fun. that's gone. I mean, it's still gonna have a place in modern, so I think it's worthwhile to pick them up uh, when if the price starts dropping for the people who, mm, pardon me, who jump jump ship. Um, Nyctos, Nyctos is gone. That's kind of sad. Yeah, I that I think that was the one card that's been in every deck that I've mm. played since its release. Yeah. Now let's talk about the one card that's leaving that is probably the the really sad thing. Oh God, Elspeth. You know, I'm not, I'm not really sad to see her go. Really, I like Elspeth. I only have the two, three, two, three. I'm not, I'm not really sad to see her go. One, she, I mean, she was been in standard since her printing. I mean, she was in mm -hmm. the blue white control. With uh, Sphinx's Revelation, Jace the Architect of Thought, like she was the finisher. In a lot of in a lot of those decks, she she produced the only creatures. Yeah. So she was their only win condition. It's it just I think it's sad to see her go because she was she was good ground control, I good, good Gideon, abilities. I think Gideon's gonna be better than her, way better. Uh, Ugin's still still probably the, 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 the best replacement for Elsbeth because Ugin can go away with the game by himself. Uh, well, Gideon Gideon is is good, uh, but I don't I just don't see him being that kind of a finisher. Well, I here's mean, the ally, thing. Yeah, but... I mean, here's the thing. If you're playing Gideon, you're going to be playing allies, or you're going to be playing some type of creature based deck. And he's right now. Well, 
as far as I can remember, he's the only creature that you can drop him and ultimate him right then and there. Yeah. So if you have multiples in your hand, you can say, okay, well, I'm gonna going to play this one, minus him, and now I have an emblem. It's a, all my creatures get plus one, plus one. And then next turn, drop another one, and now I've got a three, th- you know, zero. Yeah, or, or, and then he turns them, the emblem turns them into a six, six with vigilance and indestructible. So I, he doesn't clear the board like Elspeth did. Right. But I think he can create a lot of problems for mm-hmm. for those people. I don't know. Um, we also lose Urborg. Um, so that hurts Mono Black. We lose. Um, that also hurts um, some of Absan too. Somewhat. Or yeah, because they because um, they can't stoke the flames. We lose flames stoke is the gone. Flames, yeah. Uh, lightning strike. We actually lose lightning strike. We, lose we, don't, a we lot. don't have a we don't have a replacement for lightning strike. We don't I'm have surprised by that. All right, there's a three mana red spell or red colorless spell. It's not the same. It's definitely not the same. Definitely not the so same. So red red. I think red decks uh, wins is gonna take a kind of a hit. I mean, if they make it more of a, uh, a, a oh goblin round master, we we'll lose that. Yep. And um, what's the driver. no yeah, no, no pile we keep, keep pile driver. Yeah, he's in origins. Um, he's going in my, uh, Serum Visions deck. Oh uh, my god, can you imagine this, oh, it's only to target creature, this, uh, outnumber. If you had Rabble Master and this, one red, instant speed, it deals damage to target creature equal to the number of red, cre- uh, number of creatures you control. Yeah, that would be good removal. I think Jace is gonna probably go up a little bit more. Real- I think he's realistic. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna stop. I, I, I really regret not picking up four. Now. I, if they don't print another Jace in the next set, I I don't. He's gonna. I think he'll hit seventy five dollars. I think they have to. I think they have to. I don't to. know. <laughs> he's pretty strong. He's an oath keeper. He's got to be <laughs> right. printed. Um, what if they just reprint the same? Oh, Hero's Downfall. We'll lose Hero's Downfall. And there is a replacement, uh, but uh, yeah. Hero's Downfall is nice for an instant. Um. Just so much lost. Asban's gonna keep on trucking because it can, especially with Hangerback Walker, it can still survive. Um, yeah, here's the righteous path, or ruinous path, not righteous path. Yeah. Jesus, for I three s- sorcery, destroy target creature or planeswalker, and then you can awaken wake it, it for it. six. Mm-hmm. So. I saw a pretty good. Um, uh, all, all the turns are mine deck with Sage of Hours, and that would have been amazing if if I'd seen it ahead of time, but. Um, Kiora, I think, is going to make pretty good uh, as long as blue green can have a place. And the, the problem is, I, I just don't see blue green a lot of, except in landfall, like right. landfall deck. I don't see blue green doing everything. Um, the problem with Kiora is she needs. I don't think she's a win condition. Not like no, not like Gideon. Not condition. like uh, not. She's like, an accelerant though. Right. So sh- somewhere in blue and green, you'll need to find a a win condition, which. With um, green, I mean, come on. Green, you've got the Mana Hydra. Hydra. The yeah. Hydra is a good one. Um, I mean, there's tons of two two drop elves that help you ramp. You got Den Protector still, Deathmist Raptors still. Mm-hmm. You got you got a ton of shit. So in green, um, I hadn't seen this this uh, new um, goblin. I'm kind of interested. It's kind of weird. I've been interested in a bunch of red cards lately, and that's kind of weird to me. But I don't know. I don't see myself as playing red very often. I don't know what I see myself playing, honestly, with this new this new deck stuff. Uh, Counting in a uh, modern kick. Okay. Although I, I do, I still think the landfall deck is going to be interesting because you have a chance to have uh, uh, with with all the fetch lands. And I, you, with landfall, you have a creature that you you have a bunch of fetch lands out. Anyways, you play a land, then tap all your fetch lands, go search for a whole bunch of land, put them all in play, and then your creature gets bigger, bigger, bigger. Um, and then let's say you have uh, become immense from uh, their uh, uh, cons. Oh my god! And it's you, a plus you... six on top of that. So let's let's say you do it with three lands, and then uh, you you would have a let's like the cat it's like what a 2 2 plus 3 if you do search for three cards play a land that's plus 4 plus 6 so that's 10 11 12 that's 12 damage right there that you could do by turn 4 and this trample and this trample can you imagine if zenaghost ultimate 
Ghosts isn't. Zeta Ghost is gone. I know, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. if if he was still in modern, he's in modern, so you could build a modern landfall deck with these new yeah. cards. Like Ashok he, being gone is going to be a big big loss for Blue Black. And those are exiled too, so that would yeah. be a good one for see like the so and and that's the thing like I'm I listened to a couple podcasts um, a couple nights ago and read a bunch of articles. Every, everyone's kind of poo pooing this um, this set because they're like, oh well. It, you know this devoid thing isn't going to make any difference after we after we leave Zendikar again because no set cares about colorless and stuff like that, and they're really down on it. And I'm like, you know, there's so many ways to in modern yeah. to bring multiple land. I mean, if you think about your amulet deck for two mana, you can play three lands in in one turn. Well, four lands in one turn. I mean, that's that's disgusting. I mean. And I, with Xenoghost, if you can get, I mean, anybody can get Xenoghost ultimately. Like, I, I, it gets, you yeah. Know, you just got to be like patient and be able to protect him without making the two twos. He's good in a fog deck. Um, oh, Turbo Fog. That's another thing we're losing. Like, you're not going to see Turbo Fog anymore. Mm-mm. You lose a lot of stuff from that. So the the big ones that are coming, like I said, Landfall is probably a deck that we're going to see a lot of um, with the, uh, what's that, Savant, uh, Beast Caller Savant. That's really the only um, mana acceleration I think people are going to like with his little Lotus Cobra <laughs> wrapping around him. Here's Nissa's Renewal. Is, is this the reprint? No. For six, Source Researcher Library for up to three basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, then you shuffle your library and gain seven life for seven mana so if you could ramp that oh i could have used that that would have been disgusting you know i didn't and i didn't think it was gonna be that good and i didn't see much of it is converge i didn't see i, I played one converge spell which one was that the core oh yeah where you, you got, i died no oh, i'm sorry <laughs> that sucks and I and I, I, died. I don't know i think that's more and i hate to say that is it more of a commander type of card where people play more colors and kind of build their armies. I don't know. The the red converge spell is probably the only good one that I can think of right now. I don't know. I'll have to keep. I'll have to look at them again just to see what I think. The one the one that kind of piques my interest for modern is the blue green one and three colorless, where you can search for a card. Uh, I don't know if it's a card or not. Oh, oh you're talking about the bring yeah, delight. bring light. That actually might make it. That, that's there's a five color ramp deck that the, that people are proposing for um, um, uh, for Pro Tour, and I, I think that's going to be a major major part of it. It's it kind of replaces uh, blue white. It feels like like as far as control decks go. Yeah. So it's got uh, so like I said, it's three colorless, a green and a blue. It's got converge, so it counts how many colors of mana you use for it. Um, so obviously you can only go up to five. Right. Search your library for a creature card. So, oh no, creature instant or sorcery card with converted mana cost X or less equal to the number of co- colors of mana spent to cast bring to light. Exile that card, then shuffle your library. You may cast the card without paying its mana cost. So it's kind of like a it's, it's a good expensive, for an ally. expensive tutor deck type of thing. Uh, yeah. I so I, I think I think we'll see that in like a, like I said the five color five color rally decks. Um, I think we'll see that. You could play so. in Command Core. If Command Core was still around, it's not well, around. But you could play it in modern. You say you're on a modern kick. I am on a modern. I'm kick. Trying, to, I'm trying to feed. I'm trying to feed. Modern. I'm trying to feed that. So, um, so are you sad to see Theros go? Yeah, yeah. There, Theros was annoying, but it was. It was nice. Um, I like the uh, themes. I like the yeah. like. I'm, I'm gonna miss the gods. I am gonna miss the gods. The uh, gods I feel are not gonna drop in price relatively quickly enough for me. Uh, I want to be able to pick up a whole set of them. Um, I've got a lot of them. I don't have har- hardly any of the dual color gods, but I have all, uh, multiples of the, the single color gods. Um, I don't know. I'll miss them. The one thing that I feel like they missed out on in this set was um the biden i i they should have put the biden in there they I, couldn't they it, really it needed to I mean, they really she, needed she, to kior has got it i i i understand how how cool would it be to reprint it i mean sledge or slab hammer get rid of that crap yeah right? put it put another biden put in. the biden in there 
It would have been cool. So. I think the uh, the manlands are probably gonna um, not see as much play as we think they are. I think the spell lands will will see it in the ally decks. Um, and I, I I just I feel like landfall's gonna be a major contender um, along with um, ally decks. I mean, those are the two big ones. Uh, the only reason I don't think Eldrazi is going to be too big of a thing, I mean, I think Eldrazi will be there. I just don't think that they're gonna, there's going to be a main Eldrazi deck because yeah. um, they're just they're hard to cast. It's hard to get consistency with them. And it's one of those things where you can like, how many do you put into your deck? I mean, if they're your win condition in a sixty card one. deck, do you put one of each? Do you yeah. put two in? I mean, people that were like we were talking about. Um, the uh, blue white control deck from Ravnica with El- um, Elspeth. Most of those decks only ran three Elspeths. I mean, four was kind of pushing it, but you know, and that was their win condition. So, <laughs> um, and there's not nearly as much removal. I mean, you've got what Crux of Fate, Languish, Languish. Yeah. Um, You're losing Drown and Sorrow and, and um, Bio Blight. It's kind of it's kind of a lot, right? Oh, you're there. also losing anger of the gods. That's a huge one for red. Yeah. Um, what's the black the black spell that you get to remove a creature or a creature from the game? What's that? Um, uh, oh, the one you name a creature. Yeah. Um, in not infinite. Um, it's three. You name it. It's three of black, two black, and one colorless. Yeah. Something distortion. I can't remember what it is now. But lots of land destruction in this deck. In this not, set. Is, no, not no more lot, than there's some. two two red spells. That's more than we normally get. But uh, infinite obliteration. There you go. That will get rid of Eldrazi because if as soon as you see one, if you if you're playing black, you can use that to get rid of whatever. Game so, two. Yeah, I think infinite obliteration will definitely be something that people are going to be sideboarding if bad. they have black. How much is that right now? Uh, seventy-seven cents. Buy four just to be on the safe I side. Had, I bought four when they were last. Because that's, know. I mean, if you th- if and there's gonna be, like we're gonna let's go ahead and swing into some of these decks. Um, some of these decks are disgusting. The ones that they're they're thinking that right, they're gonna be they, yeah. Like, uh, let's see here, Robert. Asban Agro. So on TCG Player, they've got uh, it looks like Robert. Vaughn, I think it's how you say his name. Vannon, Vannon, Vaughn, 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 So he put Vagan? together. I don't know if he put these. Yeah, he looks like he put these together. Um, these five decks, and some of them are really good. With a Wingmeg Rock, with Siege, Siege Rhino, Rhino, Knight of the White Orchard, Hangerback Walker, Den Protector, and Anafenza. Uh, and Anafenza is kind of necessary in all aspects. Um, Dromoka's Command. Again, I think Dromoka's Command is really great because you get to play two land. Wait, are, this is a Tarkus. That's a Tarkus. Tarkus. So Dromoka's Command. Uh, well, plus one counter and being able to attack. Yeah, yeah. prevent all damage. Uh, yeah, target target player sacrifice and enchantment. That's, so that's useless now. Yeah. No one cares about that. Um, like uh, creatures fight. That's that's pretty good. That's, that is going to be huge. Yeah. Because you can prevent all damage and then have creatures fight. You can pick two, right? Yeah. Yeah. So prevent all dam prevent all damage to your creatures. That's got to be it. There's no way. Prevent all damage. No, oh, it's, 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 it's a sorcery. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, Dramokus Command will be great for the Asban. I think that we'll see that more often. Um. It's kind of come down in price mainly because it's it's uh, it's printed in the um the fat pack. So. Right. Dead um. Yeah. In there. Screw Dead Protector. I, Really hate that I missed out on that one. I didn't think. I came down. It's only at eleven bucks. Ooh, it was it was a dollar back in the in the beginning. <laughs> it was a dollar. So Get, uh, four Gideons, of course. Like Joe said, it's just pretty good for that that style of play. Um, and the the orc the 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 order of the orchids will definitely help out with uh, getting uh, white man out. So that's good. Well, that's gonna be your what your two drops and hanger back walker gonna be your two drop three drop. We're gonna you're gonna yeah. like den protector and anafenza. Just depending. I mean, you gotta you gotta. It's it's very aggro, very in your face. Um, what was the next one? The next one was next uh, one. Is Esper, Esper control. control. I like seeing Esper. Um, so Esper's white, black, uh, white, blue, white, black, white, blue, black. Yeah. So you get three Jaces, uh, which is perfect for me because I've got three Jaces. 
Um, Silmgar, the Drifting Death, so that's the one that gives all your creatures, uh, your opponent's creatures negative one, negative one. Uh, I don't know how good that's going to be now, but for it's gonna, if Dragon there's Lord any, Ojitai, If there's any, and I don't, I don't think there's going to be, like um, the Scions, I don't think there's going to be a lot of Scions being played. Like you said, I don't, they, I don't no. think there's going to be that Eldrazi deck that we're looking for. I think people are going to, are going to be playing more of the uh, alterations, combinations, combinations yeah. of uh, uh, of Fate Reforged and stuff like that. Um, once, once this rotates out and we just have dragons and the first yeah. set after, so <laughs> dragons, this set. Um, Night Watch or Gate Watch, and then the one after, then you might see more of Eldrazi. Depends. I mean, Maybe. it'll be half of half the uh, format. I mean, you'll see Origins until Origins cycles out. I think because Origins is kind of like the new uh, Instrad. I mean, it's everywhere. Here's another one. Uh, Utter End. This is a card that has not seen any play whatsoever. A 99 cent rare exile target non land permanent for two colorless, uh, white and black at instant speed. A little on the slow side. But it would get rid of Ulmog. That's about your only way of doing it. So, yeah. yeah I could see that. White Black has a good way of doing it. Uh, of course, all the fetch lands are still relevant. Um, Fathom Feeder was a part of this one, though. And Fathom Feeder is kind of an interesting Eldrazi. It's it's not ridiculous casting cost. It's a blue-black. Uh, it's got Devoid, so yeah, it has no color. Um, but it has Death Touch. Uh, for two for two mana, you got Death Touch. That's right. that's pretty good. It also has Ingest, so if it deals damage, it flips the top card and removes that from the game. That's nice. Um, but it's also a draw mechanic, and with three and then blue-black, so five total, you get to draw a card. And then each opponent exiles the top card of their library. So it's very beneficial especially in the mid to late game because yeah, then you can actually, get some dump it. double benefits out of it um although with the missing scry i i feel like it's it's not going to be too uh well whatever oh just high command is going to definitely come up often i think horribly awry just got devoid for blue and a colorless counter target creature spell to convert a mana cost four or less if the spells counter this way instead of putting it into the grave exile it instead of putting it into the Umbish graveyard. That's not too bad. Hmm. So creature in a negate type of thing. Or no, not negate. Um what's the spell blast? Counter target spell unless they pay three. I don't know what that's called. Mana leak. Mana leak, there you go. Um, then the red green landfall, uh, which I'm a, a big fan of. Now you got your abbots of Colonel Keep, so you got the the um, Snapcaster effect, um, and then a whole bunch of landfall creatures, just small ones, because uh, I mean that's really all they are. Uh, but the big one is the Mana Gorger Hydra, uh, which yeah. I I was I picked up a whole bunch of at the beginning, uh, thinking that they'd make a good deck, and I was right, because um, uh, they'll they'll definitely do really good in this. It's interesting. This deck has one, two, three, three commons. Wow, well, more than that. I mean, they're all four. Four, four, of, four each. of yeah, yeah four of in the creature selection. There's a whole bunch of um, like giant growth. Or not giant growth. Become immense is in there. This Tarkus command. Tarkus command. This is the one I was talking about. We still have wild slash. So that's not too shabby. I like that. I like wild slash. That's about it, though. I mean, we really don't have a lot. I mean, well, we've got the Chandra's um, Pyromance. Uh, I think this deck yeah. is going to get out of control fast. Like Landfall? Just, yeah. But it's a combo deck, and that, that's that's where you got to kind of pay attention to your land drops. And and so I think that people are going to make, make mistakes easily, kind of like Slivers. When Slivers first came came out, like people made tons of mistakes. And then when they came out the second time, people were like, okay, I'm going to be prepared for these mistakes. They still made lots of mistakes. Oh, yeah. And so like when you when you have something that's a combo, you got to remember all your triggers because if you forget your trigger, you're screwed. Right. I think it's going to be a good deck. Here's uh, what? Black, Black Red. Red Devoid. Uh, I, 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 it's cute. I uh, like her. I like her. The uh, Drana, the Liberator of um, Malakra, uh, the Vampire Chick. Yeah, for, flying first strike two three for three mana. I like her original uh, version. She let's see here. She gets so when she deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one plus one counter on each attacking creature you control. I mean, you got bone splitters in here. Damage. You got so the plus one blades. plus one comes on after combat damage. So the pl yeah. so it's on for next turn. That's not eh. That's meh. 
So, hanger back walker. Hanger back walkers everywhere. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature when you sack a creature's draw card. That's nice. Hmm. That's interesting. See, I'm like in all these decks, like I don't see any, any uh, what you call it, uh, the scions. I'm not seeing any scions in any of these decks. I I feel like that's because the scions leave you open. I mean, they they kind of leave a huge hole. It's like, don't kill this guy. <laughs> this guy's special. Right. <laughs> well, that's the first thing that came to mind when the one dude was playing scions and then when he was playing the four the. Oh, yeah, we, five we, drop. We, I was like, <laughs> we tried so all you're doing time. in the past five turns is playing mana dorks. This is not a good thing. Yeah. But then he then he played up the like the six four, the like, uncommon titan. I was like, uh, that's not that hard to deal with. Um, bone splinter. Yeah, I like that. That's it's a good. Tide, it's a good destroy creature. Right. So, uh, let's see. Your five color bring to light control. Oh, okay, so this is the converged deck. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I, I think it has potential. Um, it's got a little bit of everything. So you got Siege Rhino, you got Jace, you got Ojatai, and you got Den Protector. I mean, you've got the best of everything right there. Um, and then put in there a whole bunch of control aspects. You got Gideon's Jesus. Approach, Stick Through Time, Languishes, Planar Outburst. Um, Songar's Command. See, I don't like that one. That's the only one. I, I, I'd rather have Ojatai. Yeah. That's a lot of mana. Counter target non creature spell, return target permanent to its owner's hand. Target creature gets minus three, minus three until yeah. end of turn. Destroy target planeswalker. But it's a land heavy deck, too. Yeah, I mean, I I kind of like. I mean, I guess, do they, what's their sideboard? Do they have. They don't have sideboards yet. Sideboard? It's just. So, ideas. Like, I guess if you come up against um, uh, like a Gideon. You probably take take that out and put in another utter end Maybe. to help to help deal with Gideon to so make sure you hit that because paying five for two of those it just seems so ridiculously expensive. But I don't know, that's just me. A lot, and the thing is, all so this deck's got twenty six land in it. The uh, Devoid's got twenty three, which is inner is twenty four for the landfall deck. So a lot of land and only twenty seven for the Esper control. <laughs> but the reason that is is has a lot to do with there's a lot of fetch lands. I mean, yeah. when you have fetch lands, uh, that's why modern is such a mana heavy de uh, decks. Even my green deck it mm -hmm. has twenty five land. Uh, my mono green deck. Uh, <laughs> Mono green has twenty five land um, because you can't you can't afford to miss uh, and, and especially in the pro tour and things like that I could see the the benefit of it. Um, you well, want a higher ratio. Sure they, they want to make sure that they can fetch up lands to to hit landfall twice in one turn or three times. Increase the chance of right. that, yeah. Um, uh, for for landfall, but remember landfall was the one that had only twenty four lands. The rest had higher land yeah, land counts true. because they had higher casting cost creatures too. Yeah, and stuff. That's like right because the landfall one was the one that had like four, yeah. three or four un uh, common two drops. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's fun. So. Um, I can't think of anything else. I mean, there's uh, a lot of good uh, potential decks there. Um, no one's really touching on the aspect of ally decks, like pure ally decks, um, which you got the best ally. You got the green-white ally. Um, I don't remember what her name is now. Um, the protector. I don't remember. Let me scroll down. It's the green-white yeah. one. Is she green-white? Yeah, green-white. There, there she is. Veteran Overlord. Um, I think with her, she'll she'll do good things. I mean, if you put her in with Anafenza alone <laughs> um that'd be ridiculous uh i'm i'm kind of sad to say that i don't see any um narsets no narset decks no. so it makes me want to look back at my our narset decks and like try to redo them because i mean we got a lot of cool spells that we could do and there's a lot of open because i well at least in my deck i know there's a lot of because i had um uh, stoke the flames in there. Light a lot. Uh, lightning strikes a lot See, of I instant. Know stokes. I know um, stokes. Yeah. So, uh, Goblin Rabble Masters. That's what I had in mind. I, I think she was the only creature I had. Well, I had. I take that back. I had Generator Servant in there just to produce two extra <gasps> mana. The sheep. Next fleece. Next fleece. Next fleece. Ah. Ram is gone. Yeah. Stupid card. Thank God. Shut up. I hate that card with a I passion. I know you do. 
Oh five, gain one life every upkeep. That's terrible. <sighs> Two drops. So of course, when they drop it, you're like, oh well, let's see here. Uh, it's not going to be another five turns until I get something that's going to be able to kill that if you block. So so now we got to work on standard decks again because my standard deck is now gone. My mono black deck, which was my last attempt to to bring mono black back, is gone. Mono gone. black back. Bring it back. Bring it yeah, black back. It didn't, it didn't. Or do you want to just? Or we can we can go to modern. I mean. My no. modern deck's pretty good. I like I like my modern deck. We've put enough love into it. Might as well love it. Oh, with the Jace and everything like that. Good lord. I took the Jaces out. I love the Jaces, but he's a little expensive right. for my taste. He's too. Oh, and you bought, you just borrowed mine. That's what I know. Uh, but wait. I know. Um, so we got. There's a couple tournaments coming up. Um, is there one this weekend? Well, ours is this weekend. Yeah. Uh, it was going to be sealed. Uh, just yeah. battle for Xanakar. That's it. Six packs, build a deck, play. Let's play Legacy and Sad. Uh, yeah, if you bring, if you provide the packs of Legacy deck, Legacy cards, then sure we'll play. We should make a cube. I don't want to make a cube. That takes too much. We don't have enough people to play a cube. We have enough cards. I, I know that. That's not a problem. <laughs> we have enough cards to make a couple cubes, but I don't think we have enough people to draft those cubes. Just saying. Um, so ours is this weekend, Saturday. Uh, I get all your lands, right? Mm, sure, whatever. I guess I don't <laughs> care. Um, and then there's two GPs on October 9th and 11th. Uh, one in Sydney and one in Madison. They're both sealed booster Wisconsin? draft. I don't know. Is that Wisconsin? I don't know. Sydney's Australia, right? Right, yeah, yeah. Down under, Down under, playing Magic Cards. And then the Pro Tour is going to be the 16th through the 18th, which I'm Horrible. really, I'm, I'm interested to see what that, what comes of that. Which one? The Pro Tour. I don't know. So. We should, what, Star City Games should be having something this weekend, because um, that, that's usually where you get your first inkling of what's going to happen. Um. Which, granted, Star City Games had Sliver Deck that, that did very well. They had a couple other things, so like Red Deck wins. Um, but some of that stuff doesn't go over into the Pro Tour. Like, the Slivers haven't jumped into the Pro Tour, really, like they did in Star City Games. But when, when's the next Star City? October. Okay, so Minneapolis is this weekend. Uh, there's an Open and an Atlanta, uh, 10th to the 11th. And then... Okay, so the the Star City Games, uh, if you watch it on Twitch on the 3rd, um, the, it's that... on Saturday. I mean, it's going to be standard, so it's going to be our first inkling of what people are going to be playing. So, I mean, so that's, is that that's po- is the 3rd? That's after, yeah, that's after the release. It's after the release, yeah. yeah. Okay. Barely. barely. I think it, it does. Will that still have Ther- uh, Theros on it? Mm-mm. Okay, so Theros does cycle completely out. Okay, so there's no grace period. That's insane. Um, so Atlanta, yeah, that's about it. That's about the only one that's decent. Because I don't, I don't watch Legacy. It's too boring. You see the same thing 50 times. Well, Lan- the, the October 11th, 10th, and 11th, Atlanta, that's going to have standard in it. Yeah. There's going to be open there. But I'm assuming that the all the video coverage will be for the Legacy and Modern Tournament. tournament so mm-hmm. Lots of Jaces. Lots of Jaces. Lots of Jaces. I, I think, think they should unban Jace, Mind Sculptor. <sighs> For modern? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I've only got the one, so it doesn't matter if it's restricted for me. I don't think they restrict cards. I think in it's those. restricted. I don't think they restrict cards in modern, though. I thought it was either it's banned or it's not banned. Yeah. No, it's some restricted, I think. Anyway, so that's all I've got for this week. Man, I got nothing. So, that's it. Guess we'll see how uh, drafting goes. We're not drafting tomorrow. Damn. God. Not tomorrow. This weekend. We are not drafting. You want to draft? I don't want to draft. We could draft. I, I suck at drafting. I'm terrible at it. I like drafting. Your mom likes drafting. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching this episode. Uh, we'll be back not next Tuesday, but the following Tuesday, which is the Something. 13th. So we can talk about how the Pro Tour went, I believe, right? Pro Tour is on yeah. the, the... Nope, Pro Tour hasn't hit yet. Oh. We'll right. talk about Star City Games. Uh, we'll cover that. Uh, we'll talk about how our event went and all that good stuff. I'm sure prices will fluctuate. They usually do. A little bit right before the Pro Tour and um, just after the Star City Games. So we'll see who does well and what 
We'll, we'll watch the red deck because the red deck always wins. It would always come up in the first week after mm. a new set because nobody knows what the, no one knows what anybody's playing. And the one thing that is always common is, hey, you know what? If I'm just a red aggro deck and I can win on turn three or four, I'm just going to go in under all these Eldrazi cards. That's such a. Play. I will bet you that there will be a red deck in the top eight of that mm. of that Star City games. You know what? I understand that, but I think that um, the Sphinx's uh, Toolage deck will will be there. Is, this the, is that still Blue, a thing? Yes, yeah, Sphinx's Toolage will still be a thing. There's still enough uh, draw mechanics. So Dramoka's Command is still a thing because it destroys an enchantment or makes him sack an enchantment. Somewhat, somewhat. But I mean, Negate will still be there. So, yay. All right. Um, so we'll be back uh, on the 13th. Uh, Ball and Chain Podcast will be tomorrow. Yay! Ooh. Talk about some destiny. Boo. We missed last week. I tried to get uh, another buddy of mine on to cover for Angel, and we the like uh, internet con- between internet connection and audio equipment, trying to Skype and record and stream all at the same time, just didn't work. I hear so. a lot of wow, wow. That's what your mom said. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys in two weeks. Thanks for watching.